Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, so now that we uh, successfully installed jQuery, let's go ahead and create a function. Let's go ahead and see how this is used. And remember for our our get element by ID, how we sort or we created this uh, pretty much ID, pretty much our key right here, and then we sourced it down here in between our body tags. Well, think of a big website on like a massive scale, like a twenty page website. Everything you would want to get element by ID, you'd have to write this every single time. But what if you just wanted to change like the paragraph text? The paragraph text is pretty common. It's on every web page. Well, that's where, jQu that's where jQuery comes in and kicks some butt. So I'm going to show you an example of jQuery. I'm going to create another custom function, just like we did when we were creating custom objects like five or six videos ago. So what I'm going to do is, okay, so this script tag is closed out right here. I'm going to create another script tag. And you can have it set to uh, um, type equals text forward slash JavaScript. I'm not going to do it, though, because I'm feeling a little bit lazy right now. And what am I going to do in here? Okay, so the more you see jQuery, the more you're going to see how automatic this first line of text is. So kind of like how you call a variable in PHP, this is how we source jQuery. It's just the money sign. Actually, we could spell it jQuery. I think it's lowercase, like that. But I don't do that. When I use jQuery, I use the money sign. And in here, this is where we write our document. Get out of this, and then we're going to type dot ready function. And we haven't done anything yet. We just let we just let jQuery know that we're ready for something. So you're going to see this line of code pretty much on every single slideshow or form. I mean, you just just view any pages, um, view source, and you'll see this all over. I guarantee you. Now we are going to create our function. Now I need to come up with something that uh, will make a good that that will make this a good video. And I'm going to use I'm going to source jQuery again. And now we're going to look for our our get element by ID. But we're going to make this a lot more universal. So I'm just going to use the p text like HTML. Our p text is welcome to our page, but on a giant web page, you'd have this all over the place. You know, for your main content or your widgets or somewhere in your footer, you'd have a ton of you'd have a ton of p text. So that's all I'm gonna get. That's what I'm gonna use for my element or my key, as I like to call it. So let's just put a p in there, just like that. You got to put double quotations, and let's close that out. And I'm gonna use the JavaScript method of double click. So that means when we double click on our welcome to our page, something's going to happen. I don't know what I want to have happen yet, though. And then let's go ahead and cre create a function within a function. And let's drop that down just like that. And now in here, what do I want to do? I will go ahead and. Oh, I forgot that one part. We have to type this again. Remember, we were creating cu custom objects. We had to type that one word, this. We need to do that again right here. So we're pretty much making this universal. We're saying for every p tag, okay, for this line, we're saying jQuery is ready to go. When it sees this, let's launch. Dot ready. Rock and roll. This is our element. This is our key to the city. And when we double click on this, what do we want to have happen? We want the p paragraph text, whatever's in our p tags, to disappear. And the JavaScript method for that is called hide. I'll close that out. Let me look at this code. What am I missing? Kind of gets confusing. It's not jQuery is not that much code, but there's like, you know, a little bit more brackets or uh, brackets and braces, curly braces than just regular uh, programming. Let's see if I have this right. I think we should be okay with this. Let me pause the video. Okay, this looks good. So let's go ahead and save this. No, this doesn't look good. I'm missing. Look at that. Function here. This doesn't look right either. Get da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Because we're closing parentheses are right here and right here. Alright, let's save this. Let's hope let's hope this works on the first try. So I'm gonna go back to my JavaScript folder. Let's go ahead and reload this into any browser. Google Chrome. Welcome to our page. So if we double click on this, this should disappear. And it did. Voila. All right. So we successfully called jQuery. 
And this is where jQuery comes in place because we could have millions of lines of p text, p tags. I'm sorry. So welcome to our page. This should disappear. Spell disappear wrong. Surprise, surprise. This should dis. Try again. Peer two. Save that. Oh, I'll put a break tag right there. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and reload our page. Welcome to our page. Double click that. This should disappear. Double click that. This should disappear too. Double click that. All right. So jQuery made it a lot easier for us to do that. If we didn't have to do that, I mean, if we if we weren't using jQuery, we'd have to create a custom function and get element by ID for each three lines of this code. So if this didn't make sense, let's go ahead and do another jQuery example in the next video. So try to get a little bit of confidence with this, play around with this, and I'll see you guys over there.